Welcome to the USMLE revision playlist. In this video, we'll talk about B cell activation. This is a high yield concept and it would take very less time, but it would be highly informative. B cell activation starts with the interaction with exogenous antigen. And this interaction happens via the membrane bound antibody molecule on the B cell. B cell receptor mediated endocytosis leads to this first step the presentation of the antigen on class 2 MHC molecule. B cells are also professional antigen presenter, so they can display the substances on class 2 MHC. They display this antigen to T helper cell. T helper cell interacts with the B cell at several levels. First of all, the TCR and MHC2 interaction leads to the first signal for B cell activation. And the second signal for B cell activation comes from the CD40 receptor and CD40 ligand on the T helper cell. So these two interactions give rise to the necessary signals for B cell activation. So this method is known as TH dependent B cell activation because it involves T helper cell. But there are also methods like T independent B cell activation where several antigen crosslinks B cell receptor and that leads to the potent signal for B cell activation. Let me explain this in a bit more details. Many a times bacteria secretes flagellin or let's say LPS, these kind of antigens which can cross link the receptors. And this is the trigger for B cell activation. So cross linking is the critical factor which leads to the receptor activation. But this is much less potent and this many of the cases this does not lead to subsequent uh, changes anyway when b cell is activated b cell would re-enter the cell cycle they would proliferate and make more b cells generally when b cell did not encounter any antigens they are known as naive b cells it has membrane bound igm or igd when it interacts with t cell and the antigen uh, on the t cell so they ultimately become activated and differentiated into a antibody secretory plasma cells. Plasma cells are actually differentiated format of B cells. The naive B cell can become different type of plasma cells which might give rise to different isotypes of the antibodies. Now this is done by a process known as isotype switching reaction or class switching recombination. If you want to learn more about that, there is a dedicated video on that part. But for now, if you need more notes, flashcards, etc., you can uh, go to my Facebook page or in the Instagram page. Link is in the description. Feel free to support our channel via Paytm, PayPal or UPI. See you in next video.